Hey guys, Ollie here from Local Knowledge. Today, I'm gonna talk about something that you don't talk about that much, but is super important to me. As I get older, especially, being cold sucks. I have zero tolerance for it. It will ruin my day, make me feel like crap. I just, I hate being cold. And everybody thinks here in Southern California, oh, it's sunny Southern California. Why would it be cold? I have friends come out all the time from Florida. They show up in like a, a performance shirt and some shorts and think they're gonna roll out with us in April. You will freeze to death. Our temperature on the water is largely governed by the temperature of the water itself. It's like a giant air conditioner. Most of the time we're fishing is going to be anywhere from the high 50s, sometimes even lower than that, like if we're rock fishing in the, in the middle of winter, and in the middle of summer it might get up to 74, but typically our water temperature is 65, 68, and maybe 70 during the summer. So let's talk about it's either spring or fall, right? It's too cold to just wear my board shorts or my AFCO shorts and a t-shirt and a hoodie over it. What do we go to? The first thing I do is I want to put some pants on. And when I'm on the boat, I want pants that actually have a bunch of stretch to them, fit me well, and flex. And AFCO really delivers on that. These are the new pants, which I love. I wear them all around town, everything. You know, you don't have to just wear them on the boat. These are called the honcho pants. They're just a nylon pair of pants. They stretch really, really good. And they also breathe really good, but they're just thick enough to keep the wind off of your legs. On the top side of things, I wanna have insulation. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit more later, but this is a perfect insulating layer for those cooler, breezier days. This is an AFCO Vista vest. I kinda like that because it's easy to get my arms in and out of the jacket that I'm gonna put over the top of it. But if it's windy, it's breezy, and a lot of times you get fog and it's just damp out, that's where this guy comes in. This is the Barricade rain jacket. It's part of it was actually the Barricade, not the Barricade Elite. It's a lighter version of the Elite. It comes, it's just a really light, 100% waterproof shell. It's also very windproof. A lot of times the problem we have is the wind, more so than the temperature. That wind will cut right through you and you will freeze. So this keeps the wind off of me. This keeps me warm underneath. This keeps my legs nice and warm. And I've also probably got another pair of pants under it to kind of protect my core. And on top, I'm just wearing a ball cap. I don't need any gloves. If it does get a little chilly, kind of late in the season, AFCO makes these gloves. They're really bitching. They're called the Helm gloves. They're super light. They've also got the feature where you can actually talk on your phone or your touch screen with these pads that'll work on your phone. So these are awesome. I usually will keep these in my bag on the boat and I kind of carry enough in my bag. I carry one of those Yeti tote bags and I keep enough in there so if the weather goes bad, it's a little colder, a little warmer, I got something to work with. It definitely makes those days on the water a lot easier and when you're doing a lot of back-to-back -back days, it really helps. Let's move it around a little bit. Let's talk about early spring, you know, late winter here or late fall when the weather really does get cold. Air temperatures are in the 50s and 60s, but hey, I still gotta go catch my rockfish. We need tacos, whatever. We go to the layering principle when it is really cold. And I mean like sub, you know, 60 degrees. I know people in really cold places are gonna laugh at me, but on the water with the wind, you know, anything in the 50s or lower is cold and it's gonna sting. This guy usually still stays around, the barricade. At that point though, I'm gonna switch and I'm probably gonna start wearing my bibs. And these are the barricade bibs. They go with the AFCO barricade jacket. These are great, they're just a shell, they're very light. They also stretch and you can still move around on the boat. Easy to get around in. They're gonna keep you dry. They're gonna keep the fish slime off of you. They're gonna keep you from getting wet. And especially on a smaller boat, these are the way to go. You're gonna wear these a lot of the time because you're taking a lot of spray and they'll keep the spray off of you. Weather gets nice, you just take them off, roll them up, throw them in your bag. Now, AFCO sort of took a page from some of the hunting brands, which was really smart in my opinion. I'm a big bow hunter. Again, don't like being cold. And they've really implemented a three-stage system. That system's gonna consist of a base layer, a mid layer or insulating layer, and then an outer layer shell. From your base layer, you're gonna move on to your insulating layer. And the insulating layer is really different in hunting than it is from fishing. In hunting, a lot of times, 
we're sitting dead still in a tree stand, or we might be hiking up a mountain, you know? So you're gonna have different levels of that. Fishing, fortunately, the activity level is really not so drastic and doesn't have such big swings. AFCO, recognizing that, has come out with some new product that I'm just seeing for the first time today. And these are AFCO's version of a new mid-layer. And what this is, is it's a Hexatron fleece. This is called the F2 mid-layer pant. It's that Hexatron fleece. They've used it in other products. It's awesome stuff. I love it at home when it gets cold. I'm wearing a Hexatron hoodie. Really good stuff, really stretchy, comfortable. It does have pockets. It's gotta fly. So you're gonna wear these on your bottom, over your base layer, and underneath your bibs as it gets cold. Maybe it's a little cold, and a lot of times I'll skip the insulating layer on the bottom half. My legs just don't get as cold as my body does. But if I'm fishing the dead of winter, you can bet I'm gonna have something like this on. These are basically high-tech sweatpants, just really good fleece. There's no cotton in any of these systems. We don't use cotton for hunting, and we don't want to use it for fishing. Now we use these modern fabrics that don't hold moisture. These things get rid of moisture. They'll keep you warm. You don't want to get soaked out on the water. And if you do take a splash down your bibs, through your jacket, whatever, it's not going to stick to this stuff. It'll evaporate really fast. So here's your bottom part. Base layer, insulating layer, and then your shell, right, your bibs. On the top, I'm going to have my pullover base layer. Like I said, for me, it's going to be my merinos. And then this is the new AFCO F2 mid-layer jacket. I just saw this again for the first time today. I'm wearing this by itself, just around town, whatever, a light hoodie. I love zippers, super easy to get in and get out of. But as you can see, this is going to give you a hood that's insulated, keep your head warm. It's also got the AFCO speed vents on the back of it. So your hoodie doesn't want to blow off. It actually lets the air pass through when you're hauling butt in a boat. It's got the stuff so you can cinch it down here, make it tight around your ball cap. It's got pockets if you're not wearing it under your jacket or outside of it, and then drawstrings. So you can kind of cinch it up, keep your mid layer warm underneath your gear. And then these are awesome, the thumb holes. So when you put this thing on, it goes all the way to the end of your sleeve. You're not wrestling with your sleeve or whatever. This is just a really high tech, awesome, awesome piece of fleece. And this is gonna be your top side insulation layer. So one other thing I wanna show you, AFCO's also come out with a line of gloves. These Element gloves are sick. They stay in my box all the time. A lot of times if I'm up in the tower driving the boat, I get cold up there. You're out in the wind, you're 100% exposed. As you know here, a lot of times it's overcast, so you aren't getting any sun on you. These are killer, keep your hands warm. This also is a great piece to have. Everybody loves a beanie on the boat. A lot of times beanies were made out of cotton, you know, or wool that was itchy. This is the AFCO Summit Beanie. It's got this really heavy fleece inside of it. It is stupid crazy warm. It pins the sides up, which I really like, so they don't roll down. And then the thing I really like about these new AFCO beanies, there's a couple different ones, is I'm always wearing a ball cap. I always have it on, I, on the boat, whatever, hang my glasses on it. I could put this thing, it's big enough and it'll stretch enough where it goes over my ball cap. And so I'll wear this until it gets cold, peel it off, throw it back in the bag. The thing I really want to impress upon you is that layering system. Base layer, mid layer, shell. There's one more piece I want to show you that gets used a lot on the boat during the season. And this is the Reaper Windproof Jacket. This thing is awesome because it's got insulation in it. It's got a drawstring so it sucks tight around your waist and it has a windproof membrane in it. So when I'm up in the tower, even in the middle of the season, summertime, this is a go-to layer. If it's not smoking hot out and the sun's not out, this is gonna keep my core warm. I might have a little hoodie underneath it. And then, you know, maybe my bibs or a pair of pants. Just try to keep the wind off myself, keep myself warm. Great product, always with me, always on the boat. You know, I hope this helps you out. A lot of times when guys come fishing with me, it, it seems silly, but hey, what are you wearing? You know, what are the conditions like? What are you wearing? I'm ready for pretty much anything. I can mix, I can match, I can mix stuff up, keep myself warm, keep myself in the game, not freezing, not shivering. If you wanna check out all these products, 
You can find them all on AFCO.com. They've got great descriptions. They've got sizing information, everything you need to know. Check out AFCO.com and give them a look.